I get a lot of questions about some of my background Hero Forge builds, as well as on the fat gnome character that I built for my D&D &D party, or the rat for my Vampire Kingdoms build. And you know, you can see the trend between these, you know, short and chunky characters in Hero Forge, so how do you make them? Now, as far as I know, this technique was first invented by Hypersmurf, and at least the first time I saw it was when he made a Pikachu, and with <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu, I, I always get mocked for how I pronounce that, but wh whatever. Uh, when I first saw this, I was kind of mind blown, you know, so I immediately went and dissected it and I kind of realized that, hey, this method is like amazing for dwarves and gnomes and anything small, you know, I mean, I mean, look at this, like, there's no way in Hereforge normally you can get these kind of proportions without combining two characters. And what I find weird about this really is that this really should have blown up, you know, as, as a great APR in the same way that the Behemoth one did. And like, it's, it's such a great combination of proportions and allows for the creation of like a really iconic character archetype in a way that you otherwise kind of can't with Hero Forge, so I don't know why more people don't use this, and that's kind of partially why I'm making this video now. So anyway, how does it work? So what we have here is, you know, th this is what I've, I've, I've taken the Pikachu, the, the Pikachu, whatever, and I have turned it into more humanoid, right? Because I imagine, I'm, I'm just going to assume that most people are going to make gnomes or dwarves with this, and I have basically, I'm going to try to explain how this works. So as first off the bat, you can see that this model here, which is the extra model, is the extra model that's a really big and fat one. It's a glitch model, right? It is a body model with the, the height, like the weight and the height and everything is pulled all the way up. And then you basically, you remove the legs with the glitch and then you have the toddler sit so that the body is really close to the ground even though the body is huge and the height is so big. And of course on the other model you remove the head because you want the head to be on the main model and then you just have a really tiny body with, with the, the height pulled all the way down. And how you want to do the weight is kind of up to you. Like I, the legs are obviously big because you want them to be able to match up and then when the models are pulled together like this and you use the cut off half arms on the extra models to act like really chunky arms for the main model and then you know the hands are sticking out here and then you have the little stumpy legs etc and it combines into creating this really torso heavy chunky little chunker basically and the link for all this will be in the description so if you don't want to recreate it if you don't have to do the glitches then that's fine you can just take the link and go from there yourself now what are some of the drawbacks with this well for example if we go into the main model which is the skinnier one below and i put on a pair of pants you know you can see that the pants are sticking out here and then if we go into the extra model and we put on a chest piece then you can see that yeah the chest piece covers his but there is this awkward bit here which is kind of hard to cover up so how you want to deal with this is kind of up to you but there's a different there's a few different things i mean first of all you can simply put on some legs that will oh uh, now i accidentally put on some legs on the invisible model that was not the point if you go into the main one and you put on something like this then you can kind of start covering it up you know like it depends like ropes are pretty good for uh for covering it like this exactly although you will obviously need to find something that doesn't clip quite as much as this but for example what i did with the ham haunch model this is the D, D gnome i have is i mean you can see i have a lot of extra arms and hands here holding like little things like kitchen ingredients etc etc uh, but i put a shield here now i cannot remember if this is held with a tail or with a uh, or with an extra arm but there is a little sh yeah okay so it is an extra arm it's a little shield here and it's kind of just meant to look like a a big old uh, you could say cold piece i was gonna say buckler you know that's that that's up to you and of course the the horn here like it, this is not a part of the short chunker apr but it's a nice touch using you know the the key ring horn um this one and like bending it down because you know that the short chunky characters are generally a bit fat so you know having the extra little neck fat there is a nice touch but it's by no means mandatory to what we're doing here however we can kind of look at this as an example you know of how you might want to use this like you, you, you can see here that i've also selected a chest piece that is very chunky to emphasize the chunkiness of this model even further and then I have these stumpy little boots here that go quite far up the legs so it just kind of it, it looks like a torso and a head and then just two pairs of boots and that's all this character really is and then the backpack and the ingredients and the shield like everything condenses this character into what is effectively like a ball and that's what this character is meant to be a ball a greasy ball and this one is kind of similar in some regards I mean you can see again I've used the same like buckler cold piece down here I've used chunky legs again and I've used another chest piece that is meant to look like a ball and then I have a, a shield here held with an extra arm to be like a shoulder pad because none of the show actual shoulder pads fit right uh, and then of course I have a little rat tail 
there because this is not a human. So again, like I mean, this is kind of Skaven inspired, I suppose. And again, like that's another example of the kind of. To be fair, Skavens are usually skinny. You can do Skavens without using the short trunk technique, but it is nice if you want to have a fat skin. Anyway, one thing you might notice here is that the arm, the posing of the arms, is not the same as before. And you might ask, but how do you pose these arms if they like they need to be lined up on the extra and the main model? So I'm going into the main model now, right? Which is the skinny body underneath, and I twist this because that's the actual hand, right? So then I need to match up the chunky half arm because, as you can see up here, the arm is cut off on the the extra model, the fat one. So you need to kind of you need to match this one up with wherever the the main arm goes. So if I twist this arm forward like this, then this one, this arm up here needs to match it. And there's no exact rule to this. It doesn't have to be an exact science, but you can you can kind of see like you just need to match up the chunky. <laughs> awkward little bit of a weird pose here but you know it works it works <laughs> you just need to match up the chunky arm with the thin arm because the thin arm has the hand right and uh, believe me you don't want to enable the full arm on the chunky arm because if you do that then yeah you have this oh my god i mean yeah look if you want to make a sloth then you can enable these arms and that that will probably work pretty well as well but now the proportions get all wonky i mean <laughs> Now this doesn't have to be used only to, you know, create like derpy little fat cute things. I mean, you you can definitely use this APR to create like dwarves as well if you really want to. I mean, we can smack on some stuff real quick here. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> A little questionable, maybe this one, uh, but like you, you, you get the point, you know. There's no, there's no limit. It doesn't have to be a gnome. You can probably mess around with the proportions a little bit until you, until you get one that works. And again, you don't have to, like this, this APR that I'm giving you now is only Hypersmurf's original toddler set. But there's probably more ways you can experiment with this. You know, you can make it slightly taller. Maybe if you use the low strike, then you could have the Oh god, it's loading. Yeah, you could have the upper the, the body up here, and then maybe you make the legs like a little bit taller to match up with it again, and you can have like a dwarf instead of a gnome, maybe. Like the the, the 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 point is you can mess around a lot with having like two models and then using like a glitch to mess around with one of them. Like combining the proportions of two different models into its own new model, you know? But anyway, at this point I'm, I'm rambling, so the link to this will be in the description below as will a link to the Discord if you want to join the community and share your own creations, etc, etc. Uh, now, if there was someone who'd made this before Hypersmurf, if Hypersmurf didn't have this uh, technique written in it, then I can only apologize for not crediting you. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this tip, then please leave a like. If you didn't like this tip, then leave a dislike and let me know in the comments if there are any similar tips or APRs or tricks that you would like me to go over in a future video. I'm always available on Discord if you want to show me something that you think I should make a video about. Now, goodbye, and until next time.